Do you ever get the case of the laggies in Adobe Premiere? Just stay tuned and we'll figure out workarounds so you can work efficiently in Adobe Premiere. A test of urgency, back my neck with dirt and city. Sit down, is it a pity? Doesn't seem to be a shadow in the city. All around, people looking half dead, back my neck, it's blowing like a mask. Unfortunately, they took away the legacy of the Dream Edition 2017 Adobe Premiere, which ran smoothly. You were able to scrub through the timeline. Everything ran like a charm. But I guess for job security, they've made the new versions buggy as all get out. And no more downloading 2017 legacy program. Alrighty, welcome to Band VFX. I'm your host, Joshua. This is a, a tutorial on how to fix the lag in Adobe Premiere. So we'll do the setup real quick. You're doing a time-lapse video or you've got a bunch of effects stacked up, a bunch of files stacked up, trying to make it look cool. And then when you uh, do the playback, you're doing the editing, you, you get a lot of lag. So first up, let's uh, create the scenario. I've got two uh, uh, two files that I, or two movie clips that I want to time lapse. I want to speed those up. Highlight, right click, speed duration. Type in the uh, percentage. I go at four thousand percent because I'm a crazy man. And then we'll zoom in. We want to expand these out. So click on one of them. We want to go two hundred to fill up the screen. There's 200. Right click up here, make your life easy, copy, click the next, and paste. Awesome. So, we've got our clip the way that we want it, the speed that we want it, the size that we want it, and we want a preview, so we press play. And there it is. There's that lag. It's lagtastic. So it's, it's way behind. I don't even have audio going. And this is laggy. So, if if you're kind of in a hurry and you can tolerate it, there's there's a few things you can do right off the bat and worry about fixing the problem later. First off, over here in preview mode, you can turn down the resolution, and it will run a little bit smoother. And you can it, it, you see it's still laggy. You can uh, keep going, and you could go all the way down to one eighth. So let's try one eighth. Now one eighth resolution that is still laggy and it's intolerable. Quite intolerable. So next solution you come up to edit, you go down to preferences, and then you go down to a memory. Check the memory. You wait for it to pull up. Now, under memory and preferences, you've got optimized rendering for. You want to make sure that it's performance. If it's on memory, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, so we'll on performance, and that's good. So it's still laggy. Another thing that you can do, you go control, alt, delete. You pull up the, the task manager. And you have to, every time you reset the computer, it goes to default. So if this is something you commonly have to do, just incorporate it into your workflow. Uh, because every time you open the program, you have to do this over. But once you've got the task manager open, after pressing Control-Alt-Delete, you want to go over to Details. You want to find the program, in this case Adobe Premiere. Right-click on it, Set Priority. And you can bring the priority up to high if you don't have other stuff running in the background. Like you got video games or a bunch of tabs open. Focus on the Adobe Premiere when you're editing in Adobe Premiere. And um, you can set it. I wouldn't go to real time. High seems to work pretty good. If you go to real time, especially if you have a lower end PC, 
then everything's going to slow down. Uh, let's give this a shot here. Rep press play. And yeah, it went for a little bit, but it's still laggy. Never had this problem in 2017. It is what it is. Final result. What I have to do in my workflow now. Because I've done all other options. I hope one of those options was the solution for you. My issue is is the time lapse. I think the, the speeding up to 4000 on the Adobe 2020 just isn't working out. So what I've incorporated in because it's it's hard to edit it's hard to like when I'm painting sometimes I'll go I'll, I'll open up a tab or something and I, I have to edit that kind of stuff out so what I do now is I take the time-lapse footage I get it to the size that I want I get it to the speed that I want and um, I render it I go I, I, I take it I bring it into um, but you should know how to do this, but we'll show it anyway. We go to export, you go media, office material present encoding using what? That's a new one. All right, I forgot this this uh this project had files that I deleted off my computer. But anyway, you go to file, go to uh, export, export media. You wait. We go to media queue. And that's going to open up the Encotron, the media encoder. So you should see that. And, you know, this is subjective. It depends on, you know, what you're doing. I do, um, I do in 4K because when you render the file and then you bring it back into a project, you are going to lose resolution. So when you do this, you certainly want the highest resolution possible. You go there, you let it render, and then you take the file. I'll just grab another file that's already all sped up and fancy. Let's see. Do, 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 do. do I have a gaming one? Or not a gaming one, but yeah, workflow time lapse. Okay. All right. Once, once the file is uh, rendered, now you can bring it back in, and you can play it back in no case of the lags. That is that is the last resort. It is effective. It's uh, when you're doing that time lapse on the newer versions of Adobe because I guess for job security they want their programs buggy now, so they can release patches instead of the perfection they had with 2017. You come up. Uh, we got full res. We press play, and we've got it on the playback. It's nice and good, and no lag. And then you can commence with the editing. Then you render it again. You lose a little bit of quality, but you know, for YouTube and the days of uh, poor internet bandwidth, a lot of times the resolution goes down anyway because of uh, uh, ISPs. Crazy world we live in. We're regressing. Gotta love it. Outside of that, definitely appreciate you guys stopping by. This whole thing's powered by my website, www.bambfx.com. You read all the articles, check out the gaming stuff, and buy my art if you want to support BamVFX. Outside of that, you'd be the best you that you could be. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.